Hey guys, Black Ops AP28 here, bringing you a quick, hopefully quick, make it quick. I know our attention spans are short, we're guys, but uh, anyways, just bringing up a class setup guide for Search and Destroy, what I like to run. Got a comment on my video yesterday from uh, Long Island uh, Base Fishing, Long Island I think it is, or Long Island Base Fishing. Anyways, thanks for the comment guy, thanks for uh, this idea. So I'm just going to quickly go over my uh, classes that I like, like to run in Search and Destroy. So right now my favorite... Uh, gun is to use is the MP7 with laser sight and suppressor. Uh, I basically recommend laser sight and suppressor on any SMG out there. It's it's really good. And uh, try and fire more from the hip than aiming down sight. You'll get the, the kills quicker and all that. Uh, so I'm, for my first perk I'm going to run flak jacket. Uh, the reason for that is because I want to run dexterity instead of engineer and I hate dying from uh, like uh, bouncing beddies and all that stuff. So I'm going to run flak jacket for that. Toughness, so there's no flinch when we're getting shot. It's really helpful for rushing and staying on target. And then of course extreme conditioning and dexterity. Dexterity so we can climb faster, but more importantly so we can uh, uh, bring up our gun faster. Like when we're sprinting, we're going to shoot a lot faster. So that's also helpful for rushing as well. Uh, C4, if you don't use C4, it's easily the best lethal in the game. Um, if you're not using C4, I recommend just using it, even just going like uh, spawn, like demolition or whatever, and just get used to using it. You'll love it, and it's great. Uh, smoke grenade is my tactical uh, grenade of choice, just because um, it, it can open up the map a lot for you, like cut off choke points and plant bombs and all that stuff. But if you see my videos before you, you'll see what I, how I like to use the smoke. <coughs> So the other class here is a shotgun class. We're going to use this more on like close quarters, like hijacked and all that kind of stuff. It's basically the mirror class. The only thing it changed here is the gun. We got the uh, Remington, best shotgun in the game, with long barrel and laser sight. Um, for all these classes, I don't run a secondary, you'll see here. Well, except for the sniper. But the reason for that is if you bring out your uh, knife before you start sprinting at the beginning of a round, you're going to sprint like twice as long. And when we're rushing and we want to get to the choke points a lot faster, <coughs> excuse me, then we want to have our knife out so we can sprint longer. Um, for my other class here that I'll run is the concussion class, I call it. The only difference here is you'll see I got fast hands for my perk 2 and then I got tactical mask and perk 3 and a concussion for my tactical. Uh, this is for like plaza when you're going for A. Or like if you're rushing on express there and you want to throw your concussions over that sign. It's just for certain rushes, this is the class that I'll use. The reason I want to use concussions, of course, I want to stun them because I know where they're going to be. And I want to get to the spot before they can. And I'm running tactical mask on this one because usually when I run this class, it's going to be them stunning back, trying to get their stuns off first. So uh, this is just a specific class for different situations. And if we're getting our butt kicked, then I'll uh, switch to the ghost class if they got their UAVs up. Um, so on this class, I got suppressor and adjustable stock, which is another great attachment for your SMGs. Uh, suppressor obviously stay off the mini map, and then adjustable stock is just like Stalker Pro from uh, Modern Warfare 3. You can strafe a lot faster left and right. Um, yeah, so we got ghost, but the only difference here is I am running engineer. Just uh, because I got ghost on, I don't got flak jacket on, I want to make sure I see the bouncing beddies and whatever else that might blow me up without having flak jacket on. And we got our smoke and C4 on again. And one other thing I wanted to mention here. Oh, it'll come back to me. And then just a sniper class, just to change things up. If you don't feel like rushing anymore, this is what I will usually run. With DSR, probably the best sniper in the game. With attack 45 secondary, very good secondary, it's like two shot kill. Uh, cold blooded, cold blooded because if I'm sniping, usually I'm going to be more long range and then I'm going to be coming up against more target finders and that kind of stuff. So I want to put cold blooded on and my name's not going to show up above my character's head as well. And ex extreme conditioning engineer. And I'm running ghost just because I also. Uh, Actually, Ghost is the one that keeps you your name off the mini. You know what I mean. Whatever. Ghost, cold-blooded, extreme conditioning, C4, smoke. Uh, score streaks. I'll usually run UAV, Hunter Killer, and then depending on my mood, I'll either run like RC, not very often, or Care Package, or Hellstorm. I was right running Lightning Strike, but they really nerfed that thing, so I don't like it anymore. I think Hellstorm's probably better now. Oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to mention was, um, say you start off the beginning of the, like, the first round and you're using this class, and then you notice for the next round that they're going to have a, like, a UAV up. 
Um, what you have to do, you have to switch your ghost class before that round starts. Um, like before another Call of Duty, what we could do is we like we'll pick this class and then we'll kind of sprint forward, and then the enemy will call a UAV, and then we would like call in our ghost or cold blooded class or whatever to keep off the uh, UAV. But now I guess you have to switch to this class, like to your ghost class, before this you start of that round. Otherwise, you're gonna show up on the mini map, whatever. So I'm not have one hundred percent clarity on that, but that's what I've been hearing a lot. So. Just make sure if you think that the teams, like the team the next round, they're going to call a UAV in and you want to stay off the minimap, just make sure you switch your ghost class before the start of that round. But yeah, guys, that's uh, my class setups. Hopefully you didn't find it too boring. Hopefully you find something useful out of it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye.